Association with funding from Massachusetts Port Authority, the MWRA, the City of Boston, and Eastern Salt. Uh, operates a marine debris removal and prevention program. This is the 11th summer that we've done this. And up until now, we've removed approximately 240 tons of floating debris from Boston Harbor. The program is designed to help uh, make our borders more accessible for boaters, swimmers, and obviously marine life. So what you'll see is um, we're going to go out with Boston Line and Service, which is the vendor that operates the boats that pick up the uh, marine debris. They then take the debris, they store it at a dumpster at Black Falcon Cruise Terminal until there's sufficient mass. Then a contractor picks it up. Some of the materials are recycled, particularly the plastic bottles, and then uh, the rest goes to either landfills or is reused for a variety of purposes. So we, what we want to show you is the amount of debris, there's also a copy in your packet, uh, that we collected last year and the breakdown of the different types of so it tends to be floating debris, so paper, plastics, and such, caps. On a windy day, your caps would fly uh, into the harbor. Uh, and also, we do pick up pilings that have come loose from various older wharfs around Boston Harbor. So after Nor'easter, for example, there's much to clean up and to pick up, uh, particularly of the rotting pilings and such. So this shows what happens. This map shows the area around the inner harbor that we pick up from. So as you can see, it also includes Chelsea Creek and part of the Mystic, as well as the inner harbor. These are the areas that are most used by the public. And so we'll see the largest concentration, for example, around the aquarium, around the fan pier. And I think this year, we'll also see quite a bit from Liberty Wharf, which is the newest site to open along Boston's waterfront. public can really make a difference in terms of keeping Boston Harbor clean. Most of the items, aside from the pilings, are things that we really can prevent coming into the harbor. So our message always is, we'd like you to put the program out of business by being sure there's no more debris in Boston Harbor. We can all do our part to clean up the harbor.